Today we're going to be going over all the quests in one of my favorite in-game holidays of all time, the Feast of Winter Vale in World of Warcraft Classic. This is going to be a guide for both Alliance and Horde players, but it's going to be played through the eyes of an Alliance character. As always, I will keep coordinates of all the NPCs and places I mention in the description down below for anybody with a map add-on like Cartographer. And with that out of the way guys, let's get started. The Feast of Winter Vale questline is available December 15th through January 2nd as part of the holiday event under the same name. Additionally, beginning on December 25th, Christmas Day, there are up to 5 presents available for each character you have under the Ironforge or Orgrimmar trees. The first quest starts out in Ironforge for Alliance or Orgrimmar for Horde, and next to the bank you'll see a Great Father Winter set up next to a festive tree, and near him some goblin NPCs from the Smoky Wood Pastures Company. Talk to the Goblin under the tent, Woolmort Jingle Pocket for Alliance, and Kmart Copper Pinch for Horde players. And technically this first quest, Great Father Winters here can be picked up in other major cities as well, but since the bulk of the quests are in Ironforge or Orgrimmar, it's just easier to start here. You'll need to be at least level 10 to start any of the Feast of Winter Vale quests, and if you're level 30, you can also grab the Stolen Winter Vale Treats quest here as well. And if you're level 40, you can get the quest Mets in the Reindeer. For this quest, we'll head over to meet Great Father Winter, where he'll wish you a happy Feast of Winter Vale and lets you know that you might get some gifts from Smoky Wood Pastures, if you've been good this year of course. After completing that quest, you'll want to speak to Great Father Winter again and accept the quest, Treats for Great Father Winter. Great Father Winter requests you to bring him 5 gingerbread cookies and 1 ice cold milk. You can purchase a gingerbread cookie recipe from Walmart, which only costs 25 copper and requires level 1 cooking and you can also always buy cookies off somebody who already has the recipe. Making the cookies requires holiday spices, so be sure to buy those from Walmart as well. And ice cold milk can be purchased off of dozens of NPCs throughout the game, but the closest one would be Innkeeper Firebrew or Barmaid Gwenna Firebrew at the Ironforge Inn, and for Horde players the closest vendors would be Innkeeper Grishka or Barkeep Morag. After obtaining the milk, you'll want to craft the gingerbread cookies if you haven't already. The cookies require one holiday spice and one small egg each. You can farm these small eggs from various low level NPCs like the Moonkins in Darkshore or the Flesh Rippers in Westfall, or you can just purchase them from the auction house which is what I did. For me it cost 50 silver for 5 small eggs. Once you have the materials ready, make a fire or stand next to an Ironforge Brazier and open your cooking ability. From there, select the recipe Gingerbread Cookies and create 5 of them. Once this is completed, you can turn in the quest to Great Father Winter and you'll receive a Smoky Wood Pastures gift pack as a reward, along with some silver, experience, and reputation with the Steam Weedle Cartel. The gift contains a random assortment of low-level reagents such as the Copper Bar, Mage Royal, Bolt of Linen Cloth, and Light Leather. Mine came with 10 Mage Royal. Later on in the mail, you'll also receive a Smoky Wood Pastures sampler which contains a Holiday Cheese Wheel, Blended Bean Brew, Candy Canes, Graku's homemade meat pie, and Graku's mince meat fruit cake, which recovers 5% of your health and mana while eating, so it's a great item at all levels. The next quest you'll want to grab is from the NPC Golly Crum on the left side of the bank in Ironforge. Horde players will want to talk to the Taran Furmund, who is also nearby the Wintervale festivities in Orgrimmar. This quest pokes fun at the commercialization of Christmas, or in this case, the Feast of Winter Vale, and requires you to seek out Historian Karnik in the Hall of Explorers to learn more about the lore of this holiday. Horde players will have to speak to Sigourney Crestrider, who is a shaman trainer in the Valley of Wisdom in Orgrimmar. Karnik will give you the quest, The Feast of Winter Vale, along with a book by the same name. The book discusses the importance of the holiday, particularly to dwarves and Tarin. The term Winter Vale is said to stem from a supernatural being referred in many cultures to as Great Father Winter. As he would walk the land late in the seasons, winter itself would be his billowing cloak. In his wake was the blanketing of the land in snow, and thus it is said that Great Father Winter would cast his wintry veil over the land. Though parts of Azeroth may lie in snow, it gives the land time for rebirth and renewal. Dwarves consider Great Father Winter to personify one of the titans of Azeroth, whereas the Tauren focus on the renewing aspects of the lore and give thanks for the blessings of their new home in Mulgore. 
Great Father Winter was said to provide a bounty for anyone who welcomed his presence, which ties into the idea of feasting at this time of year. The final page of the book comments on the modern interpretation of the holiday, once again taking a dig at real-life holiday culture with the last line, Even the image of Great Father Winter is sometimes used, but more as a harbinger of commercial exploit rather than as a supernatural titan. After you obtain the book, you'll have to speak with King Magni Bronzebeard in Ironforge for Alliance, or High Chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof in Thunderbluff for Horde players. Once you complete the quest, you'll be rewarded with 200 reputation for the respective city. The next closest quest for Alliance players would be the Stolen Winter Veil vale Treats that you can start at level 30 from Woolmort Jingle Pot or Kmart Copper Pinch. This quest requires you to seek out a stolen shipment of treats along with a missing agent of Smokywood Pastures somewhere in the Altrek Mountains. Fly to South Shore in the Hillsbrad foothills, then head north to reach the Altrek Mountains. In between three trees near the Growless Cave in the south of the Altarek Mountains, you'll find an NPC called the Strange Snowman. Upon talking with him, you realize he isn't a sentient snowman at all, but a Smoky Wood Pastures employee called Sax, no doubt a reference to Sax Fifth Avenue Department Store. And if you haven't figured it out already, all the employees of Smoky Wood Pastures are named after real-life department or big box stores. Smoky Wood Pastures itself is supposed to parallel the real-world food gift retailer Hickory Farms, which is fitting since the company often opens up seasonal retail shops for the winter holidays. I made a list of all the different stores the goblins reference. Some of these are more obvious than others, like Walmart to Walmart, but I imagine this trivia is less known about outside of the United States, where a lot of these stores are popular. Anyways, back to the quest. Through his chattering teeth, Sax informs you he was sent here to search for a missing package when he was attacked by a creature he'd never seen before. Accept the quest he offers you, you're a mean one, and seek out the creature called the Abominable Grinch, which is a less than subtle mashup of two well-known holiday figures. The Abominable Grinch is a level 36 elite that spawns anywhere that yetis can in the Alterek Mountains. So if you're around his level or under it, you'll probably want to get a friend or two to come help out. When he respawns, he lets out a yell in chat to let you know that he's in the area. If you're a hunter, I recommend using track humanoids to more easily find him, or alternatively, you could just spam a target macro while running around in the area. He's pretty straightforward to fight, but he does have an ability to take you out of combat by turning you into a snowman for a brief amount of time. Killing the abominable Grinch will drop the stolen trees that you've been looking for. While you're here, you can also pick up snowballs from the piles of holiday snow. These can be thrown at other players or NPCs, though they don't do any damage, and is also used for summoning certain Winter Vale companion pets. Take the treats back to Walmart and Ironforge or Kmart and Orgrimmar, and you'll be given another quest, a Smoky Wood Pastures thank you. All you have to do is speak again with Great Father Winter, and you'll receive a Smoky Wood Pastures special gift, which contains a random seasonal recipe. These recipes include Recipe Elixir of Frost Power, Plans Edge of Winter, Formula, Enchant Weapon Winter's Might, Schematic, Snowmaster 9000, Pattern, Gloves of the Great Father, and Pattern, Green Holiday Shirt. The final quest, Mets in the Reindeer, requires you to be level 40 and can be started at Walmart or Kmart. Though much like the last quest, even if you can start it at level 40, that doesn't mean that it will be easy to complete. You'll have to face multiple level 45 enemies at a time, so unless you're high enough level to handle that, it's best to go with a group. The quest text informs you that Metz and the Reindeer has been stolen and that Smoky Wood Pastures has received two ransom letters from different groups claiming to have Metzen. You're given a Smoky Wood satchel which contains Metzen's letters and notes, as well as a pouch of reindeer dust which will be used to free Metzen. Metz and the Reindeer is actually a reference to well-known Blizzard developer Chris Metzen, who was working as the creative director on WoW at the time the game was released. He started working with Blizzard back in 1994 when they briefly went by the name Chaos Studios Inc. and has worked on all major Blizzard franchises. He retired from the company in 2016, but still provides the voice of Blizzard characters like Thrall, For the Horde, and Bastion. Page 4 of the item Metzen's Letters and Notes names other Blizzard employees working on WoW at the time in the same poetic style as Twas the Night Before Christmas. These employees include game designers Scott Mercer, Tom Chilton, and Kevin Jordan, quest designers Pat Nagel and Jeffrey Kaplan, who now works as the lead designer on Overwatch, lead designer Rob Pardo, 
world designer Jeff Goodman, and finally, creative director Chris Metzen. Metzen the Reindeer can be found in either of the locations mentioned in the ransom notes. Metzen can be found in the northeastern part of the Searing Gorge and on the eastern peninsula of Tenaris. Again, coordinates for both of these locations will be listed in the description below for anyone with a map add-on. He can be found in the Searing Gorge, captive in a Dark Iron Dwarf encampment, where he is directly surrounded by four level 45 Dark Iron kidnappers, as well as some other Dark Iron NPCs and level 45 to 47 Tempered War Golems. He can also be found in Tenaris, where he is surrounded by four level 45 South Sea kidnappers, as well as other South Sea NPCs in the area, so the challenge in both zones is pretty comparable. When you reach Metzen, simply speak with him and this will automatically give him a sprinkle of reindeer dust. Magical energy will begin to swell around Metzen, and soon he will teleport to safety. Turn back in the quest to Walmart or Kmart, and you'll be informed that Metzen has safely flown back into Great Father Winter's stables. As a reward, you'll be given 5 preserved holly, which temporarily turns your mount into a Rudolph-themed mount, as well as 200 reputation with the Steam Weedle Cartel Cities. Later on, you'll also be sent a Smoky Wood Pastures extra special gift in the mail, which contains 20 of Graku's Mince Meat Fruitcake. If you have 300 cooking, you'll also unlock another quest called Hero of the Day, where you can turn in 5 gold and 1 deep rock salt into a holly preserver machine in most major cities for 5 preserved holly. Preserved holly lasts in your inventory indefinitely and can be sold throughout the year, but you can obtain fresh holly, which expires after 7 days, by blowing a kiss to the winter revelers seen in the various inns. You can repeat this once per hour and also have a chance to randomly get a mistletoe which grants plus 20 spirit to a target. The Feast of Winter Vale is also complete with Winter Wondervolt machines, which can turn you into a random winter gnome for 30 minutes every time you use the machine. These can be found in Booty Bay, outside the gates of Ironforge, Stormwind, Orgrimmar, the Zeppelin Tower in Tirasfall Glades, Gadget Sand, and the Menethil Harbor Docks. You also have a chance to obtain a green or red winter hat from random mobs or specific dungeon bosses. You have a higher chance to get a red winter hat from Emperor Dagren Tharasan in Blackrock Depths, Warmaster Voon in Lower Blackrock Spire, and Cannon Master Willy in Stratholme. And you have a higher chance to get a green winter hat from Prince Torthildrin in Dire Mall West, Darkmaster Gandling in Skolomance, and Goraluk Anvilcrack in Upper Blackrock Spire. Additionally, there are seasonal vendors with unique items only sold at this time of year to try, and you can find more powerful snowballs called Hard Packed Snowballs that knock your target back inside of Alterek Valley. And as I mentioned earlier, starting on December 25th, which should be today, you can open gifts under the holiday tree. Two of these are available for level 1 players, a festive gift is available starting at level 10, a gaily wrapped present is available at level 20, and the ticking present is available at level 40, which makes a total of 5 different gifts to open for players who are level 40 or higher. These are definitely a must open for pet collectors as the gaily wrapped present contains one of four different holiday pets. Last year I got the snowman kit, uh, which you can see here. That's it for this video. I hope it was able to help you out in your questing or at least put you in the holiday spirit. I know everyone is looking forward to 2020 ending and I am as well. Uh, and I've got a lot of classic WoW footage that I've been sitting on since the launch of the game that I do plan to start releasing next year, along with other gaming content, uh, and of course my game project that I'm working on over at moonbrewgames.com. Definitely be sure to hit the sub button and hit the bell to be notified of my next video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody out there watching. Hit the like button, drop a comment, and I hope you have a great rest of your holiday season. Till next time.